Good morning everyone, it is Monday morning and I'm all dressed in my gym gear because I was about to go to PT which is usually how I start on Monday morning but this house has been such a sick house this week and it seems to be carrying on with the theme this week. I had like the worst UTI last week, I haven't had a UTI in years and it was like, it wasn't even like cystitis level, it started that way but then it went to like the really really bad type of UTI. So I'm on antibiotics, starting to feel better although I do have like quite a dull ache around my like middle but um, I got the test results back and I am on the right antibiotics so that's good. The kids have had this like tummy bug, Ugh, well do, honestly I'm not going to go into details because it's just been horrific um, and this is like the third day now so I'm going to take the kids to the doctor this morning so I've cancelled my PT, taking the kids to the doctor and then I've just got some like bits to do around the house today. We actually had, despite all of that, we had quite a nice weekend, we stayed in yesterday, we had plans to go and see Rich's family but we had to cancel because the kids weren't well but we had just like a really nice day at home, it felt very lockdown vibes, we played in the garden, we decorated some cookies, cycled up and down the street, <laughs> but it was really nice. I'm just quickly replying to some emails because they always build up because I don't work on Fridays. So I'm trying to clear my inbox this morning, start the week off feeling fresh. Even though my PT's cancelled, let me quickly show you what I was going to be wearing. I'm actually wearing all Lululemon today. This is just a long sleeve top. I don't like wearing tops that are too tight when I'm working out. This, there's literally builders outside, but this is the sports bra that I'm wearing. I like them to be quite high necked. I don't want any sort of like cleavage. It's kind of like a cross, you know, at the back. And then I'm wearing my my align pants, which are super soft and comfy. I'm just gonna leave this on to go to the doctors and put on a big hoodie. Okay, back from the doctors and I think I've got a couple of hours to get some work done. I'm in all black today. Um, my stomach though, look at this bloating. Oh, I literally feel, oh, what is going on? I need this to pass because I haven't got time to be unwell this week. If you follow me on Instagram you may have seen that I was attempting to do some DIY. Um, I am not good at DIY. I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm a creative artsy person. I don't think that's the issue. Um, it's that I'm just like a bit lazy and I just want things done quickly. As soon as I've got an idea I just want to do it and I don't give any time to like research it or make sure I've got the right tools. I just want to do it. So um, I bought these frames from Ikea we're redoing Grey's bedroom basically. Um, I am going to be doing a reel on like the before and after because it's a job which is really exciting. Oh god sorry my nails have paint in them, they look like they're dirty but it's paint. But it's just like a before and after reel so I thought I'd share a bit on YouTube as well of like just the process and doing bits and bobs because we are doing it over the course of like two months because we've got so much going on and we're not going to be able to like get it all done in one time. So I've booked the decorator, he's coming next week. Gray's gonna have to like either sleep in the loft or like share a bed with us, depends if she wants to sleep in the loft or not, but our house might feel a little bit upside down for that week. But then, um, yeah, just like doing bits and bobs and making the room really nice. Like I've said this before, but it used to be my office and then she just moved straight into it. And we never really did that much to make it like her room. So I wanna make it really special for her. I found these frames at Ikea and I just thought they were quite cute. This is like a kind of blush pink one and this is like a, baby blue. I don't love them like totally plain though but I just thought you know they're quite cheap I think they're a couple of pounds and I thought let's just see what I can do. So I had an idea that I'd like paint the frame but as you can see the frame is like got a shiny finish and as soon as I started painting it you could see the paint was just like getting rejected. It was literally just like bubbling and it wasn't like sticking at all. I tried to like put masking tape and like paint it and then like literally most of the paint peeled off and it looked terrible. And then I thought I'll give it one more go. Ideally I'd have like a primer that I would paint first. That would have worked but I don't have a primer and I didn't want to wait. So I just sanded down the sections that I wanted to paint which was quite difficult without sanding away the masking tape. But anyway this is what I got in the end. I used a paint sample that we had of Hague Blue and I painted some stripes and they are not perfect. They're quite uneven but I quite like that about them. I think it looks quite cool. Um, this is just a little greeting card that I found at a shop that I thought was sweet and then behind it this pink is actually a paint sample of the pink that we're going to be painting on her ceiling so I thought that would tie in quite nicely. 
And I just thought that is a cute little print. I'm going to try and do a kind of gallery wall in her room. So I've got this one. I've got these two. So I need to decide what to do with them. And I, I again, I kind of want to like DIY those frames a bit, but maybe do it better next time. And then I've got this print, which I bought from a shop. So I'll put that in one of those frames. I've also got this, which we've had for years, a friend bought for her. It's got two little hooks at the back, so I can go on the wall. Can't decide whether to paint this or not, or just leave it wood. I think I'll wait and see. And then we've got these as well, which were in her old bedroom. They've just been on the wall, but um, I'm going to move them into her bedroom. So this print, this one, which is her star sign. So it's quite a cute little collection of prints going on. Um, I'm also going to get her to make her own print. I think she'll just be really proud of like making her own thing and having it on the wall. Let me take you down to her bedroom to show you what we're going to do. So this is the current setup we have in her room. This is classic Ikea storage. Uh, we've actually sold this on Facebook Marketplace and we are delivering it tonight to the person that bought it off us. And instead, um, I'm going for a different shape. So instead of this, we're going to have one that kind of just comes to here and is just straight and we're going to have two of them. So the idea is it's going to be like a run along here. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I thought it looked really great. Um, so it's going to be a run along here with a gap in the middle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the local timber yard and get some nice wood that can sit on top. So the wood will go all the way to the back, which will be really good because it will close this gap where the skirting board is. And it will also create a little kind of desk area here. Obviously, she's too young to need a desk. She's not going to have homework or anything, although she does start school this year. But it's going to be more for like colouring. And she just loves playing in her bedroom. So I just really like the idea of her having more to do up here because she loves playing in here, but I want to have like a little section where she can sit and like colour in. I also like the idea of having the ones at a lower height because then we could put things like her doll's house on top and she can kind of stand and play with things. So on that side, I think I'll have doll's house and it's going to have loads of storage underneath for toys, the little desk. And then maybe on this side, I might put like a seat cushion so it can be like a seat. We could put some of the cuddly toys on it and she can sit up there if she wants. These bookshelves I'm going to keep, but I'm going to put them over here. So there'll be bookshelves there, some prints and stuff there. This bottom shelf I'm going to flip upside down and when it's upside down you basically get this becomes a little shelf and this becomes pretty much what I've made here. You can hook this and things will be able to hang down. I hope you understand what I mean. I have a vision. Up here we're going to have two shelves. We have these shelves that we bought when we first, first moved into this house, I bought these two shelves from this guy on Etsy. They're like proper oak shelves. They're the same ones we have in our bedroom, um, hand painted. And we ended up not using them in the lounge. And we've been trying to sell them for ages, but then like, it's quite a niche thing, like two shelves in this specific measurements that I've asked for in a specific paint color. And it's like, no one's gonna want that. We've tried to give them away to friends. No one really wants them. And I'm so glad we held on to them because actually this is the perfect place for them. You see how we have them in our bedroom. It'll be the same in here. So we'll have a couple of shelves there. Obviously they're going to be too high to put anything on that she wants to reach, but it's more just for like decorative, makes the room feel really cozy and nice. In this corner, I'm going to have the canopy from Rudy's bedroom because I think he would prefer to have toy storage in his bedroom. Also, that's from a friend. A friend gave us that and we're going to keep it and put it on this wall. And then I don't think we're going to do anything on this wall. Like, obviously, it would feel so nice to have like a little console or something like that. But we use Gray's bedroom for the kids' bedtime because it's much bigger than Rudy's room. So we all come in here and it can get quite chaotic and we lie Rudy down and we do his nappy. And I think we just need the space. So I'm just going to keep this wall plain for now. Maybe one day she can get a little table and chairs or something. But I think the main focus is going to be this run of Ikea stuff. I'm excited. I feel like it's finally kind of coming together. It's going to look so different when it's painted. We're doing pink ceiling and then the pink's going to come down a little bit at the top. And I'm trying to convince my decorator to do the wave. I think he's quite like intimidated by it. Oh, actually, I just got a delivery of a massive cardboard box. That is exactly what I was looking for to create the wave template. I did order a template from Etsy, but he doesn't really want to use it because it's like, he thinks that the paint will bleed through. Um, and the girl who I saw do this online used a cardboard cutout and then she just used a pencil to stencil. So that's the way to go. I'm going to film a TikTok or something this week showing some of my empties because I've been 
collecting them so I thought I'd quickly run through them with you guys on here because I know that some of you don't follow me on there and I feel like you would like to see these definitely aren't all of my empties I feel like I don't remember to keep them as much as I used to back in the day but when I do remember I just have been like kind of keeping them on the side they're all pretty obvious actually which is a testament to how good these products are because I feel like you will know that I've used all of these for a long time so let me quickly run through them with you I've got a beauty pie candle loved burning this over winter over Christmas it was a very this is the pomegranate and bay rose I love bay as a scent pomegranate I mean they're all can't really smell it anymore it's totally cleared out might reuse this for something not something that I have to DIY though but yes this is a lovely candle this and the fig one of my favorites from beauty pie there's also a clean house one which I really love finished another Clinique take the day off balm proper wiped it clean I love this cleanser I've gone through countless tubs I can't even remember how many it's just a very simple balm cleanser that takes your makeup off perfectly I haven't repurchased another one this time I don't know why next time I go to the shops I probably will I was trying the new version they've got a new version which has charcoal in it and it's um I think I tried it on one of my youtube videos it's black I'm not into it I don't get it I don't need that extra added charcoal it doesn't do enough for me that it's worth like smearing black cleanser all over your face so I personally would just stick to the original it's my favorite um although I have got a couple of other cleansers on the go so I haven't need to repurchase it yet but it's one that I'll always go back to it's a classic although I have to say now that I've been using this for so long I much prefer the packaging this is the beauty pie japan fusion and it comes in a tube and I just much prefer squeezing a bit of cleanser out I probably use maybe a bit too much actually because it's in a tube but I wish this came in like jumbo size it's quite small for a cleanser I feel like I go through these quite quickly but this is a really lovely similar texture it's looser this balm is a bit harder and a bit and but then when you rub it in it's a bit oilier whereas this is like more of a gel cleanser uh really lovely removes makeup very well also on the beauty pie thing I've got the triple hyaluronic acid this is a really really gorgeous hydrating serum um, I'll definitely repurchase this it's just one to always have in my skincare collection I find when I want a bit of hydration very easy simple lovely serum finished a couple of way hair products the detox shampoo I always repurchase it's just the best shampoo it completely cleanses my hair it's like a tiny bit in the bottom couldn't really get that out the packaging's a bit annoying actually I have to say because when you squeeze it can you hear it's like it's quite a hard plastic and I feel like it's hard to squeeze and with a product like this when you turn it upside down you have to squeeze it to get it out so I'm not really sure why they use this sort of packaging that's probably the only downside but it's a really lovely shampoo as I said it cleans it detoxes it cleanses all the grease and products out of my hair without leaving it dry and stripped um, which it, my hair does not need that and I double shampoo as well and it still doesn't feel dry it just feels really really clean I love this it's worth investing in good shampoo and conditioners um, especially if you get naturally frizzy hair like no silicones no sulfates all of that I also used up a conditioner I think I was sent this I don't think I would have bought the conditioner I don't know why it's nice I'm not really that like loyal to conditioners I seem to just kind of use whatever I've got there are some brands which I would look at like Whey, Purology there's loads of brands actually more kind of higher end I like to, to stay higher end with my hair care products obviously finished an Aven soothing skin recovery cream this is just the best moisturizer I, I do use lots of different moisturizers but I, again I will always come back to this one um, this like really saved my skin when it was going through a bad eczema period and whenever I feel like I've used a product that hasn't reacted well or my lips start to feel a bit sore I always just use this and it just like sorts out my skin barrier and takes my skin back to normal I also really like the packaging with a pump very easy to use must get another one of those finished one of my skin and me daily doses the packaging for skin and me is very clever you literally just click it and it just releases the perfect amount of product that you can use it every night for a month I don't always use it every single night because there are other products that I want to try because of my job it's like a bit tricky so you know I wanted to try Caroline's retinol and I'm using a beauty pie retinol at the moment but this is a um, higher strength than a retinol that you can just get from a product so although I'm testing all those products because I want to see how they are I'll always go back to this because if you've got a skin and me subscription then you you've got the you got the good stuff like you've got the higher percentage of product that you can only get 
via prescription like that you can't get over the counter. I've been really happy with Skin and Me recently because actually I got really spotty in my skin. I started getting these huge spots on my cheeks and I let them know I like uploaded new photos to my profile and they changed the formula. Was it this month? Yeah, they added clindamycin 1%. I was like, is that going to do much? Oh my god, it just sorted out my skin. So that that's amazing. It's so comforting and nice to have this subscription. So even if I like miss a few nights throughout a month or whatever, I've got the formula to go back to. I also finished a concealer. I'm starting to finish up quite a few makeup products. I haven't got any more to show you today, but I'm near the end of a lot of makeup products. And I think it's just because I'm using the same makeup every day, pretty much. I've got like the same things on rotation, adding a few new things in, but I've really like found my easy everyday makeup. Um, this is from Bobbi Brown and this is the stick concealer. I love these. I've got it in natural and then I've also got bisque which is more of a corrector. I don't think I'd repurchase bisque. I don't really need correcting. I haven't got deep deep dark circles but this is a lovely concealer. I love the little magnetic, oh it's so satisfying, magnetic tube and then I can't really show you because look it's literally I finished it <laughs> but it's got a lovely rounded top that makes it so easy it's just the perfect size to get right into the corners under your eye around your nose it just feels lovely to hold it's a lovely creamy concealer I would definitely repurchase this I think is fab those are all my empties let me pop them back in so I can film my tiktok I am obsessed with broccoli stalk broccoli core you know like the bit that most people probably cut off it's so delicious guys next time you're cutting up a broccoli same with cauliflower they're kind of the same thing aren't they the end bit is so yummy and it's so good for you i think if anyone from mns is watching this <laughs> they won't be but i feel like i can imagine mns would be the sort of supermarket that would do this i think they should sell broccoli stalks broccoli cores what is the name of a oh wait i need to google this broccoli stem i think they should sell broccoli stems obviously you wouldn't want to create any more wastage but you know how some supermarkets only sell the florets the the tree bit well what do they do with the stem like is that getting wasted because i would eat it i would have this as a snack you know how they do Oh my God, I'm getting so excited. You know how they do packets and there's like long carrots and then a hummus dip and they do it with apple and peanut butter. They do it with carrot and hummus. They do that bang bang chicken with the peanut sauce that I love. Broccoli stem with, what dip would be good with broccoli stem? Quite like peppery. Mmm, I think like a, let's try the sweet chili. Mmm, that's good. Oh my God. Now we do our food prep on the weekend. We pre-cut all our broccoli for the week. And then I always steal this bit. There's not really enough, that's the problem. You don't get much from each broccoli. You get loads of florets. You don't get much of the stem. Mm. Mm. So I'm gonna make myself a quick mid-morning breakfast. I didn't have much this morning. Toast with smashed avocado and hummus. Avocado and hummus together, very good if you haven't tried it. And then just a few tomatoes on top. Okay, I've got flatbread with hummus, avocado, cherry tomatoes. I'm making the kids just some plain pasta because they've got dodgy tummies. Mmm, so good. Right, we're going to attempt to move Grey's IKEA storage all the way down the stairs whilst Rudy naps so we can't make any noise and I don't want any scuffs on the wall and it's probably very heavy so this could be interesting. What do you want to give to another girl? No, I don't like this anymore. The dinosaur. I think that's Rudy's. We we'll put it in Rudy's room. Rudy doesn't like it, I, but I don't. So I won't give this to another girl. Just in Gray's bedroom, I'm going to start on this frame. I'm just going to sand it down a bit and then I'm going to draw with a pencil some like squiggly pattern and then I want to buy a paint sample of like a nice burgundy red to put on a squiggly pattern whilst Grey plays with her toys. Grey is just planning which toys she's going to take upstairs when she moves bedrooms for a week. This is the squiggly pattern that I would like to paint on, but the paint's not going to stick again. I have sanded it down a bit. I'm kind of thinking I might use a Sharpie. I think that might work better. Right, I'm going to attempt to start this by myself. <laughs>
independent woman, but why is that not fitting into that hole? Like, no matter what I do. Grey just went and got rich and said, Mummy can't do it. Classic Allen key. We've got Frozen on in the background now. I am actually getting somewhere with this. Guys, I actually did it on my own. There was a moment of self-doubt. Don't want to speak too soon, but it's looking good and I'm very hot and sweaty right now. Grey's just gone downstairs and she's like, I'm going to go tell Daddy that you did it. I didn't think that you could do it, but you can do it. Next time I go out, I'll buy you a sticker. <laughs> Honestly, three-year-olds say the funniest things. <laughs> I just heard her say, Mommy did it all by herself. Oh my God, I actually jinxed myself. This final piece just won't go on. No, don't tell Dad. No way, I can fix it. Don't tell Daddy. I can do it. I can do it, okay? Do you believe in me? No. Believe in me. Okay, like this. Very good. It's hard, isn't it? The fact that a whole piece of furniture can be built pretty much with just this, okay. it's genius. I mean... Whoever invented Ikea, who invented Ikea? I know it's Swedish, but is it like a famous person that is very wealthy or is it a company or something? Whoever Mr. or Mrs. Ikea is, is an actual genius. Can you tuck me in? Tuck you in? It's not bedtime. I'm just Can you learn how to tuck yourself in? And then you won't have to shout for us in the night to tuck you in. Oh, I'm almost finished, Gray. One more screw. Okay, so I've done one, um, and then there's going to be another one there. I'll probably put the doll's house on the one over there, make this one the little bench seat, and then there'll be that gap in between for the desk. Oh, I have got another one to build, but I don't know if I've got the energy to do it. I really like it though, it's a really nice height for her to play at. Oh my gosh, things have taken a turn. Grey now fully has what Rudy has, and they are both downstairs chilling on the sofa. I've just built the second... Ikea things, I just need to get it done and get these boxes out. This is what they look like. So I've got the two Trofast from Ikea here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get either a bit of wood. I think wood would look nice. Like a nice bit of wood that hasn't got as many knots in as this. And measure the wood from here all the way up to the wall. Place it on top and it will go all the way across this middle section. And then you see that little stool she's got, you could use something like that. And this would be like either a desk area or they can like hide underneath it um, I'll probably have to secure the wood on the top somehow I really like it I like that it's a bit lower I'm gonna put the house on there so that'll give a bit of height and then all the stuff on the wall I think it's gonna look great it's exciting that we have those done now good morning guys it's later in the week I'm filming so many different vlogs this week it's getting me very confused it's always the case when I film a vlog with a brand because I need to send it to them like a couple of weeks before for approval but then I have videos go up in between everything becomes out of order and it really confuses me so I'm sorry if I repeat myself or anything like that George is coming over today uh, we're having a little shoot day really looking forward to that I am barefaced because I think I'm gonna film a little kind of everyday makeup reel but I'm gonna start the day with a coffee and I'm very excited because our lovely coffee machine which is a sage coffee machine i actually bought it as a push present for rich i used to call it a push present he was just unbelievably amazing during my labor with gray and i felt like i needed to show my appreciation somehow and we we never we didn't have a proper coffee machine so i bought him this coffee machine and it served as well we stopped using the little um steamy thing for milk a long time ago and got a separate milk frother because it was such a faff um but it's yeah you put ground coffee in and then you put it on and it tastes amazing, but it's it's starting to not work. It now no longer does double shots, it only does single shots. And I just find it's a bit of a faff. When someone comes over and they want a coffee, it's like suddenly I'm having to pretend I'm like a barista. So we've been thinking about like changing it for a while. I got an email from Grind Coffee. Hello. Can we do your nails? Come sit up here. Whilst I do Grey's nails, let me tell you, I got an email from Grind Coffee, which is, which one, which nail? Which is a coffee brand, and they asked if we would like one of their coffee machines, and I'm a big fan of Grind Coffee. Their coffee machine is one of the ones we put pods in, but it's the most sustainable coffee pods ever, apparently. So the coffee pods, as Rich would call it, are combustible, but what he actually means is compostable. <laughs> oh my god, I literally have two children down here, which means it's very sustainable. <laughs> Um, they emailed me asking if I wanted one of their coffee machines. I'm obviously very like, 
using pods is so much easier. So it's very appealing to be able to quickly make a coffee for myself or other people. Um, but I, we used to have an espresso and I didn't love it. So I was a bit worried that I wouldn't like the coffee. So I said to them, can I try it first? And they said, the only place I can try it is in Battersea, which is very, very far for us. They've got like a shop there. So I said, can you send it? And if I don't like it, can I send it back? Just cause I don't want it to go to waste if it's not really for us. So they've sent us a coffee machine. We're gonna give it a go. We'll give it a live test for you guys. Um, they've sent a few coffee pods, light, original and dark. House, light, house, house blend and dark. Um, I think I'll either like the house blend or the light. Um, and I'm just so excited at the idea of being able to just pop a pod in. You can also put Nespresso pods in with the grind coffee machines, which is really good if you like Nespresso. Let's give this a go. Okay, so we're gonna make a coffee on our coffee machine, which is broken anyway. Um, Oh my god, also, let me show you. So this is the grind coffee that we've had for ages, and they sent me a new one. Look at how much the sun in our kitchen has bleached this. That is so crazy. It's such a sunny kitchen. This used to be that colour. I just think that's mad. We're gonna make a coffee on here, and then this is the grind machine. It's much slimmer, which I really like. It'll take up less surface area. Rudy, will you take the nail clippers out of your mouth? Thank you. The pods go in here, so you lift this up. Pods go in there. Got the little water at the back. It's really small, little machine. Okay, I'm gonna pop one of those in there. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. And then close this. Oh my gosh, that is just so easy. <laughs> it's so much easier and less messy. Okay, we've got the two coffees here. This is our sage. Well, no, you should have done it. I know, but. Oh, it's nice. Oh, I'm so glad. So it was obviously the Nespresso pods that I didn't like, not yeah. the fact that it was careful. Whoa. Not the fact that it actually was a pod. That's what I was worried about. Oh my God, it's so much easier. Now when Georgia comes over and asks for coffee, or anyone, I'm not like, oh God, it's such a faff. Filled up my water bottle for the day. Antibiotics. Oh, I'm so bad at swallowing pills. Every day I spray um, my Better, Better You D3000 Vitamin D spray. We're very busy filming lots of content today, but I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm having for lunch. This is literally just packet ramen. I just threw in some mange to some spinach and an egg and some spring onions. It makes it look super fancy, but it's still packet ramen. It's so good. 